Can you talk about marriage licenses and birth certificates? So absolutely. There's a common misconception that some Amish people don't have any identification. Most Amish kids will not see their identification until they're baptized. I saw my birth certificate for the first time when I was 17 when we, I went to Canada with my parents. My mom had to go a couple weeks beforehand and make sure she got my birth certificate so that I could enter the country. I didn't have it before then. When I was 19, I got baptized. A couple weeks after that, I had to take my social security number to my bishop's house. And he signed me up with the selective service, the draft, as a conscientious objector. I was not considered a conscientious objector until my social security number had been entered in to the selective service form and mailed in and signed by my bishop. Now, for these content creators out there who are saying Amish don't have identification, I guarantee you most of them are never have never been baptized because that way they would never even have seen this, these things. Um, I learned a lot just by getting baptized. You know, there's a lot that people who are not baptized don't know, and maybe they shouldn't be out here spreading stuff uh, about things they don't know about. But, you know, that's just, that's just my opinion. Have you ever tried to buy a house without identification? You should go try it. It's really hard to prove who you are who you are when you buy a house. I've never been married. I imagine you have to have identification for that as well. And they do have marriage licenses.